In our lesson 6 penguin splash assignment, we want the penguin to walk towards the pond and then dive into the pond. So we're going to use if statement for this action to happen. So the first thing you would do is set up a scene which I have already done. I have added a penguin object and I have added a disk shape and I changed the color to blue so it looks like a pond. I have added a disk shape and changed the color to blue so that it looks like a pond. So we want the penguin to keep walking towards the pond and then dive into the pond. So the first thing we want to do is create procedures. We are going to create our super class procedures for the flyer and I'm going to click on add procedure. I'm going to call it as walk forward and I'm going to write instructions in here this move forward one meter simple now again I'm going to go to my flyer super class and I'm going to add a procedure and I'm going to call it as dive and then press ok now in here I want to write instructions for the penguin to dive penguin move up one meter penguin turn forward half and then again we want the penguin to move up we're going to say 10 meters so now I have my walk forward procedure and dive procedure complete and I'm going to create one more procedure for the scene I'm going to go to my scene super class I'm going to click on add scene procedure and I'm going to call it as splash Now I want my penguin to keep walking. If it sees a pond in front, it should dive in. So I'm going to drag and drop my if statement here. If statement always evaluates to either true or false. Now in my splash procedure, I want the penguin to keep moving forward. I'm going to select my penguin and I want to use walk forward procedure. Now as the penguin is walking forward, now we have to check a condition, is there a pond in front? If yes, then we'll make the penguin dive into the pond. So in order for us to do that, we have to use our if control statement. So I'm going to drag and drop my if block and select an argument either true or false. Now if statement always evaluates to either true or false. If your condition is true then some actions will happen if this condition is not true that's false then something else will happen so in place of true we have to provide a condition the condition is if the penguin is in the pond so we're going to use our function and I'm going to select a function is colliding with so I'm going to use a function is colliding with the pond so I'm going to drag this and drop it in place of true and I'm going to select disk so if the penguin is colliding with the pond if this is true then we want our penguin to do something the actions are in procedures so we'll go to penguin and we want the penguin to dive so if the penguin is colliding with the pond then we want the penguin to dive now if penguin is not colliding with pond, that means if this condition is false, then we have to make something else happen and that is going to be penguin walk forward. Now we have a splash procedure complete. We are going to go to our events and we are going to create an event. You can create an event of your choice and I'm going to use a keyboard event. We have to use an if statement for events now in place of true we are going to supply a key so I'm going to drag and drop this function and put is key here and I'm going to select custom key and now it says press any key so I'm going to press my space bar so that I get my space bar and press ok if space key is pressed I want a splash to be created I'm going to go to scene this is my scene I'm going to click on scene and I will see splash procedure and I will drag and drop splash 
over here. So every time I press the space bar, splash will happen. As you all know, in a splash, we want the penguin to walk forward. And then we are checking to see our condition if penguin is colliding with the pond. If this is true, then the penguin will dive. If this condition is false, the penguin will walk forward. So now let's test it and see if it works correctly or not. I'm going to click run. I'm going to press my space bar. And yes, it is diving. So this is what we want our action to happen. So we are creating a procedure called splash. The penguin is walking forward. If the penguin is colliding with the pond, then the penguin dives, else it keeps walking forward. So the important thing to consider in our if statement in here is this part. This is our condition. This controls our execution of our code. So if this is true, this will happen. If this is not true, else will happen. Now I'm going to show you how to do the opposite of this. That means if the penguin is not colliding with the pond, then walk forward, else type. Just the opposite of this. So I'm going to disable this, select it and uncheck is enabled. I'm going to again drag and drop if statement. Select true. As you know, if always evaluates to either true or false. Now I'm going to apply my condition in here. Now before I apply my condition, I want to negate it. So I'm going to drop this arrow down and I'm going to select not true. So now, whatever I'm going to put my condition here, by putting a not in front of it, we are negating it. That means doing the opposite of it. So I'm going to go to penguin and I'm going to click on functions tab and I'm going to drag and drop colliding with function over here and I'm going to select disk. So now if you see it says if penguin is colliding with pond and then in front we have not. So this means that if penguin is not colliding with the pond then we want the penguin to walk forward. If this is true if the penguin is not colliding with the pond, if this is true, we want the penguin to walk forward. Now, if this is not true, that means penguin is not not colliding with the pond. If this is not true, this is false, then we want the penguin to drive. So we can check our program again by clicking on run. And it does the same thing. So now we have done two different ways. I'm going to enable this and I'm going to show you the two different ways of using a function as a condition. In here we used if, used a function for a condition colliding with. If this is true, then do this. If this is not true, then do something else. Now in a second example in here, I've used the not operator that means I'm taking my condition is colliding with and doing the opposite of it. So if penguin is colliding with pond and then putting in not negates this condition. So if this is true, that means if penguin is not colliding with pond, the penguin will walk forward. If this is false, that means if penguin is colliding with the pond, then it would dive. Now this is how I would use my if statement to control the flow of execution. Now this is how I would use my if statement to make a decision. As you know, if statement always evaluates to true or false. So I'm going to check my condition. Now this condition will always evaluate to true or false. So based on my result, I have to make a decision. If this is true, then I would make penguin dive. If this is false, I would make penguin keep walking forward.